For weeks now, an outbreak of hemorrhagic fever has gripped Guinea. Now it's confirmed to be caused by the Ebola virus. The investigation team is going from village to village to figure out what was the source of this. Ebola is one of the most life-threatening diseases to humans. It can cause severe diarrhea, vomiting and bleeding, both internal and external. The Ebola virus was first identified in 1976 after significant epidemics in Sudan and present-day Democratic Republic of Congo. It's transmitted through contact with the bodily fluids or tissues of a person who's infected. It's also known to spread at funerals where mourners touch the body. The highly contagious virus kills up to 90% of its victims. Ebola outbreaks usually happen near tropical rainforests. The last big outbreak was in Uganda, but the disease has never before been diagnosed in Guinea. I'm scared because it affects me. I appeal to the government to come to the aid of the people in France and Guinea, because this is Guinea's breadbasket. Medical officials in Guinea say they are overwhelmed. The charity Doctors Without Borders says it is reinforcing its presence there to assist the government. The outbreak is contained by being able to follow up all of the cases. And if the cases are cropping up in different locations, that makes running down all of the contacts and looking after their well-being very challenging. Ebola has no known cure or vaccine. The best response is containment. Health teams say they're working as quickly as possible. They are now concerns the virus may have spread to neighboring Sierra Leone. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.